Hello, Facebook, YouTube. Um, the topic of this message is very important. Very important for people to understand about the reality of learning to become the reality of being virtuous. The reality of being virtuous that I really want people to understand this. Everybody to understand this because this is, of course, needed. You know, for everybody need to learn how to be virtuous that we become good people. And, you know, I like what, of course, Paul talks about in Philippians uh, 2 or Philippians 4. You know, he talks about think on these things, whatsoever is good, whatsoever is just, whatsoever is pure, whatsoever is honest, whatsoever, you know, a lot of stuff. And he talks about virtues. He said, if there be any virtue, that's the part, part I like right there, that, you know, if there be any virtue, you know, think on these things. He's saying virtue is more likely the acts of of love or the acts of kindness, the acts of... And the thing is, what I like about being virtuous, it's all about doing things for agenda to bat, help better other people. The agenda is to help better other people. It's not the agenda. It's, oh, like we look at, oh, I got to love this person. Oh, I got to see y'all look at love like that. A person that feels like they're they like, oh, I got to treat this person right. Oh, I got that person is not virtuous. A person is virtuous. Understand that they're loving to help somebody to understand what true love is all about. That is a, it's a, a force agenda that you're trying to show forth a righteous uh, a do right, you know, do right to show them that, you know, in order for you to want things right you have to do things right you know what i'm saying and it's this false illusion that i see people and the well the world system is trying to sell y'all that y'all can be negative and think something good can happen you know out of come out of being negative or being uh bad, treating people saying bad things to people treating people bad things something good it can happen in spite of that, you doing being negative and stuff like this, and everything gonna be all right, is what the world system trying to help get y'all to believe, pretty much trying to hurt y'all, not help y'all, hurt y'all to believe that, and y'all get disappointed, and disappointed, disappointed that when you keep negativity in you, you're gonna get the results of negativity, subtraction. You're gonna feel less of a person instead of better person. You know what I'm saying? But that's another message. But I wanna talk about being virtuous see the thing is being virtuous is when you you you're yielded yourself to understand that you must learn how to live life you know live of course the word of God or more likely the fruit of the spirit you understand that it's a gender to learn to learn to learn learn to love but the thing is the problem is people don't understand in life you're, you're supposed to learn how to live life. You know what I'm saying? You're not, you're not supposed to just think you're going to just know how to live right. And all of a sudden, when situations come, somehow you're going to figure out how to, you know, do it right. You know, there are people think that, you know, I got so much knowledge. And I'm going to know how to handle this situation, that situation. And all of a sudden, you did not know how to handle the situation right the way it's supposed to be and it get worse you know but life is about learning you know what I'm saying it's supposed to be about learning but the thing is it's crazy how people live life thinking that I just got some knowledge and I'm just going to just make it just like that and of course you know be be negative concerning about the certain situations that happen about it and it's going to work out right somehow that's a fairy tale no uh, you got to learn how to live life right in order something to get right you know what i'm saying it's just that ideal but anyway uh being righteous uh, it talks about the uh philippians 1 and 11 i think talks about the fruits of righteousness the fruits of righteousness the reason why you are motive what what happens is when you learn the love of the the fruit of the spirit or more like the fruit of righteousness you learn that it see fruit is there to nourish you it's, uh, it's there to nourish you, to give you the vitamins and minerals that you need to perform, you know, better as a person. The same idea aspect goes with the fruit 
of righteousness, the fruit of the spirit, is to nourish you, to give you the ability to perform, to perform love, to perform joy, to perform peace, to perform gentleness, to perform long suffering, to perform meekness, to perform uh, faith. You know what I'm saying? To perform if I miss one of them. Uh, you know, you perform. It's all about enhancing performance. And you're enhancing performance not just for yourself, but you're enhancing for everybody around you. You're enhancing how to be a better person to um, show people that better people exist on the world. Because, of course, a negative and a lot of people think that everybody's majority of people are negative because, of course, the world system is, you know, through their videos and radio is trying to think that everybody's all negative. And, you know, you can't trust this person, you can't trust that person. That's true to an extent, to an extent. But guess what? That doesn't mean that nobody, everybody's negative and you can't trust no one. No, it's that you need to start finding people that has good virtues, that show forth a good attitude, that, you know, you know, trying to live life and understand that if, if I want my life right, I got to do right things. Not think that I can just mi do wrong and treat mistreat people wrong and, you know, something right is going to come out of it. People just want something good in life, you know, and they want better for them lives, you know. They, they believe in becoming a better person each and every day. That every day is an aim to be a better person concerning your character more than concerning your gifts or whatever talent that you have and you can perform but your character is mainly the most important agenda of you being a better person is a person of virtue and the thing is yes there's virtuous people out there that you know is natural virtue their natural virtue in their and there was inherited but at the same time, if you want to be truly and contain your virtue, be contained and do virtuous things in this dark, wicked, forsaken world, you're going to need the fruit of the Spirit to keep going and keep going and to really truly be a positive person. You can't be a positive person by your own ability, by your own strength, or by your own performance. You, your fleshly performance is not going to counteract all the negativity that is going on in this world. You're going to need Jesus Christ and his fruit of the spirit that he came down here. And because the Bible says Jesus is the first fruits. You know what I'm saying? Uh, in 1 Corinthians uh, 5, 15 and 23 talks about Jesus being the first fruit because everybody, you know, think they're, you know, these Christians think they're uh, more like Jesus Christ because they got the power of the Holy Ghost or they got the power of the healing and power of this and power of that. No, but Jesus, Paul said that, you know, he, Jesus is going, I mean, that something going to happen that Christ, his first fruits sees about the fruit when it comes to Jesus Christ it's not about your power and your ability as you can see in Matthew 7 that he said Lord people will say Lord Lord I did this in your name Lord Lord I did that in your name he said depart from me me worker of iniquity I never knew you it's not about your power gifting and your healing ministry or whatever it's about your fruit and Jesus is gonna always God Jesus is going and God Jesus is gonna always be about fruit and always be about fruit and your virtue and how you be the and reflect the light of Jesus Christ among the people that are around you is what is the aim and goal if you want to be about Jesus Christ or true representation of Jesus Christ. That is what it's all about. But, you know, everybody's thinking that because they can heal or they can sing or they can have these gifts and talent abilities, they are, you know, doing God a favor or something. They kind of see it that way. No. If you don't have the virtues of his love, joy, peace, gentleness, long-suffering, meekness, temperance, faith, you're not in the game. But that's the message. I hope that you understand, you know, what I'm saying about being virtuous because it's a very important thing if we're going to be truly be a Christian and truly represent uh, Jesus Christ to the utmost way and give him the glory and all the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. That's the message. I hope you got it. To God be the glory. Him forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen.